Welcome back to the round table. I'm Austin Glox, and when it comes to Gravity Falls, something that was always intriguing to me is the Bill Cipher Zodiac. This wheel is a prophecy that was present in the series since the very beginning, popping up at the very end of the theme song, and properly appearing within the series three times. Dreamscapers, The Centurion Candidate, and of course the series finale, Weird Mageddon 3, Take Back the Falls. However, Despite the build-up to the Zodiac's role in the story, its small spotlight was cut short before we even got the chance to see what it would do. To the point where, three years later, we listed in our top 10 WTF card of disappointments, check that out if you haven't, and now making an entire video on it. Because there's a lot of Gravity Falls topics that I wanted to make while the show was running that I can still make now even if the show has been long gone. Let's break down the Bill Cipher Zodiac, look even further into all the symbols on the wheel, and even provide somewhat of a concrete answer on what exactly it would have done if Stan and Ford didn't screw everything up. On today's installment of Vox Will Never Let Go of This Cartoon. Now Ford Pines, the author of the journals, first discovered the Zodiac in the same cave he found the initial incantation to summon Bill Cipher, where he learned the natives of Gravity Falls prophesied that the symbols could create a force powerful enough to vanquish Bill Cipher back into the Nightmare Realm should he ever be released into the physical world. There's really a story to still be told here, about the shaman who first summoned Bill Cipher, his own experience with the Dorito Demon, and how he was able to foresee the future, prognosticating the 10 symbols on the Zodiac and the force that they would create to vanquish Bill once and for all. I don't know, sounds like future spinoff material to me, maybe if they make another Lost Legends, it could be about that. These 10 symbols correlate to characters found in the series. However, what I find interesting is that by the time the finale rolled around, the internet had all the characters on the Zodiac figured out, from imagery associated with them throughout the series. Ford gives a questionable explanation on the symbols, saying they don't need to all be literal how symbols like the ice pack is representative of someone cool in the face of danger, and everybody immediately goes to Wendy. Yet we've had plenty of Wendy ice pack imagery prior. I believe if one symbol can be representative of a personality trait, then really they all are. It wasn't just that Dipper has a pine tree on his hat so he's pine tree, it was more of Dipper and who he is as a person always being destined for this zodiac. Gaining the novelty from the mystery shack was just destiny clarifying the events to come. So let's go through these symbols, figure out what they all mean on a different level, and why the meaning of these symbols are so important to Bill Cipher. Starting with, yeah, the pine tree. Now I did a little bit of research, and pine trees play an important part of the beliefs and legends of many Native American and First Nations people. To many Native people, the pine tree is a symbol of wisdom and longevity. Dipper is very wise for his age, gaining more wisdom from his experience throughout the series and the journal, as well as being young at only 12 years old, his entire life ahead of him, longevity. The shooting star, I believe this is someone who shoots for the stars. They have high ambition, which we know Mabel is chock full of ambition. She's always embarking on crazy adventures, whipping up insane amalgamations and ideas, always doing so with a smile on her face. I mean, come on, who else would put on an entire puppet play about herself to impress a boy? A very strange, puppet-obsessed boy. The question mark. This is rather simple. I believe the question mark represents someone who's instilled with wonder. Sue's not only harbors a lot of childlike wonder, but is very curious about the world around him, although not to the extent of Dipper. Alternatively, this could also refer to being elusive. The show seemed to be going into a direction where Seuss could also be someone not to be trusted. You guys may remember one of the hidden phrases from an online Flash game early into Gravity Falls' run that read, the handyman knows more than you think. It felt as if at one point, Seuss could have been another big mystery in the series itself. Although it also could have been referring to Ford, handyman, six fingers, author of the journal, or it could have just been a plot point forgotten about, a red herring, something to throw us off. Anyways, let's move forward to the stitched heart, which I think could represent a mended heart, or a bleeding romantic. Or if you want to look at the worst in Robbie, someone who's capable of manipulating one's heart. So yeah, this could be reflective of Robbie's heartbreak and recovery, his drive as a bleeding romantic, or it could reflect his manipulation to keep Wendy dating him for as long as she did. Although that's getting a little bit too real. But speaking of Wendy, let's look at the bag of ice. Someone who's cool in the face of danger. 
Yes, this is Wendy to a T. Every time in the series, whenever anything got crazy or even apocalyptic, she always remained calm. And her cool demeanor never faltered. Well, except for that one time in Society of the Blind Eye, but you know, we all have our moments. The Six-Fingered Hand. I believe this represents abnormality. Someone or something out of the norm. Maybe even supernatural. Without a doubt, this suits Ford. Not only was he born with six fingers in each hand, which yeah, is abnormal, but he spent his life immersing himself in the supernatural, the paranormal. Nothing about Ford's life was ever normal, but in the best way possible. It was exciting, adventurous. Not only did he learn a lot, but he gained the resources to change the world. The crescent or Pac-Man shaped symbol thingy, you know, it changed throughout the series because of censorship and everything. I believe this represents conspiracy, having something to hide, general secrecy. Now it's to believe the symbol in the Fez was actually representative of the Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel, which was a conspiracy in Gravity Falls itself. A secret society that was never directly addressed in the show, but fans dug deep into throughout the years. It goes about saying this suits Stan, a man of many secrets who had the government after him for a possible conspiracy, believing that he would be responsible for the end of the world, which he was in a roundabout way. If he never activated the portal, the dimensional rift would have never been created, and Wurtmageddon could have been prevented. I say could for something we're going to tackle in a moment. But finishing up these symbols, the glasses. Someone scholarly, intelligent. Of course this has to be old man McGucket. As we saw throughout the series, the dude's intellect is unmatched. Even after he lost his mind, he was able to web up some pretty impressive inventions. And once he reclaimed his sanity, he was more resourceful and hands-on than ever. The Llama. Now again, I did a little bit more research for this one, but Llama symbolism serves to remind someone that only through hard work and perseverance will your dreams be realized. You can adapt to any situation in which you find yourself. Therefore, know that whatever loads you are carrying right now, you will be able to manage and see them through. Alternatively, the Llama meaning could also be reminding you that your biggest focus should be yourself. Thus, personal growth and your connection to spirit should be your highest priority at all times. In fact, Llama symbolism is insisting that you follow your heart rather than your ego. Yeah, I believe all of this will immediately bring someone to Pacifica's development throughout the series, especially in Northwest Mansion Mystery, where she did follow her heart and put her ego aside. Pacifica had personal growth. She had to make some hard decisions for the greater good. Last but not least, the pentagram with an eyeball. Considering this is really tied to the Ten of Telepathy, I believe this symbol means deceit, tricking others and putting on a false image. Someone who's generally a trickster. Uh, yeah, up until his little moment of redemption, this was Gideon Gleeful to a T. He fooled the masses with the Ten Telepathy, with his amulet that endowed him with psychic abilities, and his general manipulation of the town, putting on a false image that only a few people saw through. Wow, yeah, it's kind of hard to remember that Gideon was actually uh, a really big dick. Now, the importance of all these symbols in relation to Bill's cipher is that all these traits can be applied to Bill. He possesses infinite wisdom and knowledge, longevity as he's immortal. He has a lot of ambition, he's elusive, he's curious about the other worlds and species he wants to conquer. He's instilled with wonder, arguably cool in the face of danger against many adversaries, he's definitely abnormal, he is the definition of deceit, and so much more. In many ways it's almost like a yin and yang. These 10 symbols are 10 people when combined together together allows Bill to truly meet his match, but I also believe those similarities to Bill can serve to answer another lingering question with the Zodiac. Why did Bill show the Zodiac to everyone? And as we saw from the end of Centurion Candidate, why could it be used to summon him? I believe the Zodiac had two purposes, to vanquish Cypher or to summon him. Not just in the way Gideon did, but actually allowing him to physically manifest in the real world. The Rift was just one way for Bill to manifest himself, alongside Ford's portal. But perhaps if the Zodiac was forged sooner, and all 10 people linked hands prior, Bill would have been able to manifest in the real world, and unleash Rimmer again much sooner. Alternatively, perhaps Bill was aiming to strike a deal with everybody on the wheel which would have somehow led to a similar outcome. Maybe it's similar to Voldemort and his Horcruxes. Put a little piece of himself within those representative of the 10 symbols, and it would have brought about devastation to the world, as Bill would have had enough components to create a new body in a brand new dimension. 
kind of like Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh. After all, Bill shook a deal with Dipper, Ford, and Gideon, and arguably Mabel if you want to count when he possessed Blend and Blanded, tricking Mabel into giving him the rift. It kind of was a deal and it was kind of fulfilled with Mabel Land. In the beginning of the last Mabel Corn, Bill did say, I've been making deals, chatting with old friends, likely referring to his interaction with Gideon at the end of the previous episode. Who knows what could have happened off screen? Maybe Bill could have tried to strike a deal with Robbie, trying to pitch Robbie away to get Wendy back, but Robbie was more than content with Tambury. If Bill was bold enough, he definitely could have attempted to strike a duel of Stan, another con artist. He could have approached Wendy, enticing her with a deal to get along with her family, namely her father, McGugget to reclaim his sanity, and a few other examples. Bill is a very smart businessman, never doubt his abilities to literally get into your head. But I believe this brings us to the biggest question. What would have happened if the Zodiac wasn't interrupted? After the events of Wormageddon, Dipper wrote in the journal, we still have no idea what would have happened if we completed the Zodiac's prophecy. Seuss imagines that the Zodiac would have given us all ratness powers. Somehow I doubt this is what the ancients had in mind. However, I believe the mural in the cave showed us exactly what would have happened. Notice the figures pushing Bill through the tear in the sky. Similar to the X-shaped hole in the Nightmare Realm, I believe our cast of characters would have gained control of Cypher. Actual, physical control. And putting their minds to the test and together, would have been able to push him through the tear in the sky and seal him and his weirdness, closing out the gateways between worlds. Mind over matter. Now look, at the end of the day, we may never fully understand the Zodiac and all of its awesome abilities. The details and Easter eggs and care that went into it. The true deeper lore behind it. As there's always a story to be told and a story can always be fabricated. But that doesn't mean we can't leave it up to our imagination. Comment down below your thoughts on what the Zodiac could have done. And with my theory of Bill Cypher popping up in the Owl House, do you think we could see the birth of a new Zodiac? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Oshik Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Rantable Girl by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Oshik Fox, signing out.